So if you guys have been staying up to date with all my new YouTube videos, you'd know that in my last video, I kind of gave away that I'd be showing you guys how to double clutch. Well, that's what this video is going to be about. I'm going to be showing you guys how to double clutch shift when you upshift and downshift. Now, the premises of this is basically the exact same as driving a normal standard car. So all that it involves is pressing the clutch pedal once more between every shift. Now, it's not that difficult. So right now, I'm in fourth gear and I'll double clutch downshift to third. Ready? So watch the footwork. Just like that. And I'll do from third to fourth. You notice that it's very smooth? Well, the reason why I'm showing you guys how to do this is because if you don't take care of your transmission and you're not gentle on it, you can ruin your synchros along with your clutch. The synchros engage the input shaft and the output shaft of the transmission to make sure that they can sync up and mesh properly every time you change gears. Now the clutch is there between the crankshaft and the input shaft. So you've got two different things to worry about. You've got the clutch and changing gears to worry about. Now that means that the crankshaft, the input shaft, and the output shaft in the car all have to be basically spinning at the same speed for a good shift. Now, if you aren't good with your transmission and you're not nice and smooth on it, you're gonna be ruining your synchros, as I said, and prematurely wearing your clutch. So, I'm gonna show you how to double clutch. So I've got my car off and I'm gonna show you essentially how to double clutch. So with the car off, you can play around with your footwork and everything and make sure you nail it down before you do this and start driving. If you mess this up when you're driving, there's this, uh, this great sound that your transmission makes when it grinds gears. Yeah, it's not fun. So I'm gonna show you basically the premises of it. So I'm in first gear and I wanna double clutch into second. So I'm gonna be going in first gear, say driving, and instead of just shifting like this from first to second and then like go of the clutch, you're gonna be pressing the clutch pedal twice. So if I'm driving in first and I'm going to second, I'm driving, clutch in, put the shifter into the neutral position, let go of the clutch, push the clutch back in, and then engage your next gear. Now what that's gonna do is it's gonna make sure that your crankshaft and the input shaft in your car are gonna be spinning at the same speed. After that, when you push your clutch in for the second time and engage your next gear, that's gonna make sure that the input shaft is now going the same speed as the output shaft of the transmission. So, just getting it down, I'm gonna go third to fourth. So, just like that, from fourth to fifth. And you can do this whenever you're driving. When you're downshifting, an extra step that you have to do is tap the gas pedal, just like that, so the RPMs jump up and you can get a good smooth shift. So, I'm gonna turn on the car and show you guys how to do it. So start off in first, and then once you get the car going, if you double clutch it in second, it's like this. If you're gonna double clutch and go to third, it's gonna be like this. Very smooth. From third to fourth, like that. Double clutch downshift, do it again. You see that? Very smooth transitions. This might be a little difficult to get used to, so whenever you're starting off and doing this, try doing this with the car off so you get a good feel of what the motion and everything is gonna have to be so that when you get in the car, you're not gonna be breaking anything. Now the beauty of this, the beauty of this technique is that you get to go faster when you're driving at high speed and high RPMs. So if I wanna use my entire RPM and redline at 7200, the next time that I gauge my next gear, so if I'm going from say second to third, if I don't double clutch, I won't be able to engage my next gear very smoothly without ruining your synchros. Of course, you can just throw it in gear and mash it in there and engage the next gear, but you're going to be ruining your synchros. Now, if it's not your car, okay, really, who cares? But if it's your car, of course, you want to baby it and take care of it. So, double clutch downshift just like that. fast shift if I didn't I'll show you what that's like so I'm in second and now I'm gonna go to third after I redline again watch this so you have to wait did you notice how my transmission didn't want to let me engage into third smoothly that's because the input shaft of the transmission was spinning too fast for the output shaft to engage when I put it in gear the double clutch motion is not gonna be all seven different steps. It should be all one fluid motion. So when you get the car going, notice it takes no time at all. It's quick, bang, bang, bang. It's not, okay, put it into neutral, push the clutch, push the clutch back in again, and then engage gear. Because at that point, 
your RPMs are already at a thousand and it's waiting for you. As I said, if you nail this down properly, this should all be very fast and you'll be able to use the engine and get a lot more speed out of it. You're gonna be able to get more torque, the car's gonna wanna go faster, you'll be able to have more usable power and your shifts between each gear should be less and less. So watch me double clutch downshift in a second. Quick. Hear those piggy squeal. You can double clutch at any speed, any gear, whatever, it doesn't matter. If you're on the highway, you're say you're just cruising, but you want to overtake someone, this is how you double clutch. Same thing when you upshift. After you overtake, you put it into a higher gear. Just like that. Yeah, practice makes perfect. The more you do this, the more natural and more fluid this is going to be. If you guys have any questions regarding double clutching or any advanced driving technique, uh, please post them down in the comments below and I'd be happy to help. Again guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.